okay, you know, like every other person now, that they ask that, okay, how did you start? And then they're like, oh, I learned it on YouTube, one to one thing like that. So, but, well, I cannot say I didn't learn it on YouTube, but um, I think it started in 2015, 2016, I mean. Basically, like being a designer started around that point. So if I'm going to introduce myself again, I'll say, my name is Iebiye Adeito, a Kant nominated film poster designer and illustrator. Thank you. <laughs> well, it started in 2015 when, while I was still in um, uh, NC, uh, and we were supposed to do like a final, my final year project, I was a directing student. So uh, I was supposed to like direct a film, like a short film. So I wrote the script, wrote everything, and then we shot actually. I got a friend to shoot for me, and then it got to a point where we were supposed to like submit our, our film to our lecturer. So the guy just told me that we can't just take the CD and go and submit to him now. That what, why can't we just package it, like, you know, do it like all this, put it in jacket and everything, fine. I was like, ah, the suggestion is nice, but who will help us do all those ones? And I said, ah, he has a friend, he has a graphic designer friend that also works in the same office with him, that, that one can help us do it. So he introduced me to that person. So I sat down with him, explained our story to him, and then he took pictures from our films. And the film um, itself, screenshots. So from there, he just started working on it. And at that point, I didn't know what a poster was. I knew what it was, but I didn't know what, what it took to do that. But as he was doing it, I was just like, guy, I can't do this thing, no. <laughs> so I, as he was just doing I just sat down with him. He was using Corel Draw. So I was like, Egmo, I beg, if you teach me this thing, like maybe it's just to give me this uh, software. Make I go there, play with her for hours. And at that point, my cousin, who I just traveled to the US, sent me a laptop and I was basically using it to watch film. So I just said, I have a laptop, oh, screen touch, self. So, <laughs> so just give me, let me, you know, let me, let me use it, grab a play. So he said, ah, no problem now. So he gave me the software, helped me install it. And that was how I went home and started doing nonsense. <laughs> I think that was the beginning of me having interest in in creating posters and designs for film. As a young boy, I had always had um, passion for, you know, painting, drawing. I didn't know it was called design or anything at that point, or illustration or anything. But these things were, were just there as a talent for me, which I'm grateful to my parents. They didn't kill it, they were just, they were encouraging me, you know. I was so vested in it that when my, my, my auntie traveled abroad with her family and it just went for like six months. So they now call her, ah, Kinika buying Rabo. They were asking everybody and me, I told them to buy me coloring pencil. <laughs> I told them to buy me coloring pencil. That I, want, I wanted imported coloring pencil so that I would be easy to be. Do, I would just be doing my own. Because as a young boy, I used to do storybooks. And those storybooks were not, uh, there were not much of writing, it was just pictures. I was just, my dad used to buy all these Disney, you know, was pirates, well, you know, psst, was sorry, <laughs> it was all these 201 Disney films. And then I watched Aladdin, El Dorado, uh, Ariel, you know, different Disney cartoons. And those were like my earliest inspirations that I would just watch. That particular work that I'm very proud of, not for anything. I'm just proud of it. I think it's Ayla. And it's not because of anything. Ayla is, you know, is a you know musical icon. And you know, I grew up on his music. My grandma used to play Ayla. And when I heard that um, you know Jade Oshiberu was working with 
uh, Baba TK to produce Angela. I was like, oh, oh, more. I have to do the poster. <laughs> I have to do the poster. And then, you know, I had not worked with any of them before. So uh, it was, I was just, you know, hopeful that, you know, somebody would just reach out to me somewhere, somehow. And then, and then prior to that, I had, you know, had this um, link up with a friend of mine. He's also a poster designer, Rex Posters. So we, we spoke about a lot of things and out of, out of what we spoke about was collaboration. So we had had that conversation a long time and both of us have been busy and, you know. So when Angela came and then I discovered that he was the one that made the title card. And when they posted it on Twitter, I was like, there's something wrong with this uh, Angela because it was not Angela. They didn't put the, the tonal marks was wrong. The production house posted, it was just the teaser, not the main poster, it was just the title card. Angela, you know, coming through like all that. So I just said, ah, this thing is wrong. So I had to like reach out to, you know, the guys are like, something is, this tonal mark is not what it's supposed to be. I'm like, so I was just like, ah, how far? I want, I, want, I want to work on this project. And I was like, ah, yeah, 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 yes. that there's no problem that he has been, you know, we've been working, we have been trying to do collaboration for a long time, but it has not worked out. So. I think we should do it. Sole poster for Kai de Kasson. Ileowo poster for Kai de Kasson. Shino poster for Kai de Kasson. And uh, yeah, I think Obaram. Obaram poster for Kai de Kasson too. And uh, Tunde Kilani's Cordelia. That one is yet to be out. Cordelia is not out yet. I, I collaborated with um, Kilani Abbas on the poster. Uh, Michael Omonwa's Riazal, the short film, and you know, that one is like, you know, very special to me because I really liked the short film. And then, you know, the film is probably going to win an Oscar, it's going to give me my own Oscar. <laughs> it's currently, the film has stored, you know, festival, festivals, you know, globally, and the awards it has, yeah, the film has won as like, you know, Oscar, you know, winning category. I don't know how they call it, but the way they say it is, he has won awards that are supposed to like, you know, feature in Oscar. Take the film to Oscar. So and I've always had the dream of winning, you know, best film poster at the Oscar. So I don't know. Probably <laughs> if it goes to Oscars and it wins, you know, I get an accolade for that. So Michael Omonwa's, um, I've done a lot of uh, posters for Chuku Martin, you know, Mr. Gwen Gaza Drive, The Peacock, then for Masquerade, Fate, Taiwe Good Job is in Ibadan. All our vibes, you know. Uh, who else? Who else? I've done a lot of work. I can't remember. Okay. Um, then I've done a lot of tribal posters, you know, fan art posters. For Maria by Dam Damilola Orimo Guje. And then Choke poster too for. Directed by Damilola Orimo Guje too. And uh, there's this new 4 for 1994. That stars Richard Mufeda Mijola. It's a period film. I made the poster for that. Izzy Ojuku directed it. Yes. I'm proud of that one. <laughs> you know. Um, which other poster? This was just me in my mom's, uh, my mom's place. And then I just get this DM from Kyle De Carson. Chief, what's up? I like your work. I'm a fan. This and that. And then he just sent me a screenshot of Inibadon, a poster I'd done for Taiwo Gunjobi. I was like, I like this style. Can you do something like this for me, for a film, Sole? And he just gave me a brief synopsis of what the film was about. Some characters, this person, this person, this person, this person, this person. He gave me details of who the characters were. So that was what. I, that was just what I needed to work on what I did. And I did, I think I made two, two, um, two different posters for Sole, which was illustration based. When I got, when I got the, the, the job, I was just like, I had spent, I, had, I was just coming out of some, you know, personal issues that I had to run away. And I went to my mom's place to, you know, chill out. And then, once she's not around, I'm like, brother is not around, I'm the, I'll just sit down at home and 
help our team to our, you know, customers. Open the shop, set up everywhere. What do you want to buy? Okay, take. What do you want to do this? Take. So, if I should pick up my mouse <laughs> and try to draw something. Mofera, Kiniko, Mumbo, Kilevera. It got to a point, I opened the shop. Hey, Kilevera, Ouni. Drop the change. <laughs> so, it was just crazy. I just, ah, oh, one more. When I had done like four characters, at that point, I was like, guys, I'm not sure about it, I need to move. <laughs> but I could not do that. I just yeah. said, let me just. So I think that was how I just kept you on working. I, I finished work it there. that day. I finished it that day. I finished that day. I think what I later now went on to work on was the title. The title, so I, I like calmed down and I created it. I've always been a follower, like, you know, a Brimo fan, you know, listened to all his albums, gone to his concerts and everything. So it was, it was kind of a dream come true when it happened. And how it happened, I don't know. It just, it just happened. But then I will not say I don't know. Let me just explain how, how, I, how I thought it happened. So I, I, I have a friend. Both of us are like, you know, very chronic Brimo fan. We used to, we used to like gist in Brimo's lyrics. <laughs> so I was, he was, he just reached out to me. I was like, ah, that guy, this Tita album, Tita album that is coming out to ah, do something now. Send it to Brimo if you like him. Oh. So I said, no, 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 me, ah, never, because I have pride. <laughs> never, Brimo is going to pay me. He's going to. His, his, his management is going to reach out to me. Do you know why? <laughs> so, I, we just we joked about it. I was like, and when he said that thing, I was like, hmm. I was now considering that should I do something and reach out to him. I think fast forward to two three months later, I was just listening to Brimos, like his old discography. Started from you know Ara period, and I was just listening to it. And I just got on my laptop and I started creating different, um, they were similar works, similar style. So I was just creating abstracts for, abstract poster for all his albums. I started from Son of the Carpenter to uh, Merchant, Dealers and Slaves, to, you know, Tabula Rasa, Clitoris, and everything like that, Osho. So I think I had just done like four. I'd already mapped out what I wanted to do for each one. It was just a simple idea for each album. Simple idea, simple idea. I'd mapped out everything. So I'd done four, and my laptop um, went off, so I just slept. The next morning, I wanted to continue. So I just felt like, let me not continue. Let me just post this four first. So I just went on my Twitter page, and then I posted the four, and I just, I, I, I just wrote a caption. This is what I imagined what Brimo's album should look like or something, I've forgotten. So when I posted it, I was just like, okay, guy, what thing you post now, it makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense because you don't post them now. What next? So I now deleted it. I deleted it. I now reposted and now tagged Brimo. Because I felt like or what, what is the worst that can happen? We'll probably just ignore it. And like, if anything was going to, if I was going to have any impact, if that was going to have any impact, I should at least tag him. Or tag his fan. He has this Everything Brimo account. I think it's a fan base. So I just tagged both of them. And then I had a lot of jobs to do because sometimes I like to do personal work to take stress off myself. I'm working on people's uh, project and then I'm getting a lot of stress from it. I'm feeling overwhelmed. I just stop and do personal work. I get some kind of fulfillment and some kind of confidence from it. So that was my way of, you know, relieving my, myself of stress. So doing them, I just, I just posted thanks, Brian, you know, and I went back to the project I was working on. I think it was after five minutes, and then my phone is always by my own side. I don't, 
I don't put it on DND or anything because I'm broke. <laughs> Somebody that have money that is putting his phone on DND. <laughs> so, five minutes later, my phone started buzzing. And I just checked. Brimo had reposted. Yo, guy, this is brilliant. I love this. Can you do something like this for Tita? I might just use it for the album cover. And that was it. In the background, my friends have started calling me that guy. Farabale, she saying me. Ma Ross, Rara, Farabale, she. Pashenye, I trust you. We, my guys are already set up Zoom call. Designer, aware, all of them. Zoom, they were WhatsApp call right now. Boy, conference. Like, how far? So, see this work. <laughs> So it was really over, overwhelming. I had to stop the work I was doing. I think it was the next day I just messaged. I just DM'd Brian on that. Ah, Chief, Alpha, I don't finish that. I don't finish that artwork because I took the liberty of taking his app, um, email and then I sent the artwork to the email. At that point, he had even dropped all the track list. So I did back and front and sent it. I just started seeing different or more mad, this, that. <laughs> he said something like, you are a motherfucking genius or something. I was like, <laughs> but he didn't say motherfucking. He, he just twisted it. I knew what he, what he meant. You know Brian Mo likes to use. <laughs> so, Right, so the first um, you know, nomination for me as, as a poster artist came in 2020. Funny enough, like my first big whatever, and Efficienta Nura. I think the producer put in the film for Toronto International Hollywood Film Festival in Canada. And then amongst all the nominations for the film, he got nominated for Best Film Poster. That was like my first nomination. But I didn't win, but I was very, you know, honored that at least, you know, the international community is getting to notice our work in this country because we do not have a lot of film poster designers. So I got um, nominations for other, you know, all these, you know, local awards, you know, Empire, Student Awards and, you know, all these, uh, no, all these awards that they will say to come and use 50, 15 years. <laughs> Even we should put this thing in. And they say our voters should come and use 15 years to <laughs> But I really appreciate all of you that have nominated me. I really appreciate it. for my It's just that I don't have money. I'm a broke designer. <laughs> I would have used money to actually buy these awards, but I don't have money. <laughs> I think early this year, I got nominated for, you know, Cannes, Cannes Shorts, Cannes um, Short Film Festival in France. You know, Cannes is one of the, you know, globally, you know, rated, highly rated film festival in the world. One of them, you know, if you are going to be counting, you know, TIFF, Toronto International Film Festival, you look at Cannes, you look at, uh, uh, I've forgotten this, uh, the Oscars, then Cannes is in that uh, category. And I was so, I was so so happy. I cannot express myself, but you know, you know that kind of happiness where you start shedding tears. That kind. You know, January 3rd this year, my friend, which was the producer of the film, hours before, it's a short film, a very short film, not very, very, but a short film. I made poster for it and I didn't know, nobody told me that they put it in for any award because out of all the nominations that they put the film in for, I think the only nomination he got was for um, poster design, best poster design. And then out of over 100 entries globally, I made top five globally. So it was a big deal for me. And you know, I'm just starting my career. I'm okay, career around me. I'm just starting my career. And you know, this is the kind of award that, you know, somebody that has done 20 years will, call, will be nominated for. I'm like, oh, my, I want to thank my mommy, my daddy. <laughs> Okay, so I want to implore everybody at home <laughs> that is watching this that, you know, this is the moment, that moment where you do aspire to Maguire and require to <laughs> perspire. 
But really, um, there's no there's no shortcut to to success. And uh, you know, I would not say I'm I'm very successful now, but to an extent, I feel like I'm living out my dream, living out you know my passion. You know, it's one thing for you to to go to school and study something. You know, you know that there are people that have studied Yoruba that are in the bank now. <laughs> so. This country is, 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 very, is very weird because, you know, you study one thing and you end up doing another thing. So I'm just grateful that I'm, I'm probably one of the people that has found a way to merge everything I've, I've been doing while I, from, you know, since childhood into something. I've just made something out of it. You know, even though my parents were like, ah, Ophelos say, Shomolu Lomachi design 5500 Naira. <laughs> you know, my, my dad was like, ah, Hey, she only lo <laughs> he was very he was very scared for me and I understand the concerns. So, you know. But here we are in Lagos. And me she designed for for Nera. Uh, you know, we thank God. So there's no juju anywhere. Consistency is the ultimate juju. Just be consistent.